think the video recorder stopped halfway through, so we're, we're doing part two. So that contains, as I said, this is a trap, little medicine bottle. I put a slip with a, with a hacksaw in there. It's got honey, water, and a bit of vinegar. That attracts them, drowns them. But they're still in here, so don't be afraid. Blow away. Now, the eggs. I've got to scrape them out. Ugh, there we go. Get rid of those. Get rid of those. Take out the area where you're seeing the worst damage of these eggs. I'm just using a screwdriver to scrape them out. You'll never get them all, and you're not after to get them all. You're just after to get most of them to allow the bees to be able to maintain the hive. So at the moment, scraping out everything here. Don't be afraid to blow away. The bees don't get blow away. You can see them there all running around. The flies as you blow them out. And you do this three or four times today. Keep blowing out these flies. Come back another hour or so. Do it again. Look at them all. They're all going. You can see them all going. They don't want to go. But once you blow them out, they're off. They don't like the light. So we're trying to get rid of the pests. We've got a trap. I'm cleaning out without trying to damage too much. Anything that's untoward. Now the next bit, you're going to be a bit surprised what I'm going to do. I'll just put that down there. I'm just going to turn him upside down. Just give it a gentle shake. No bees fall out. They shouldn't fall out. Pretty dumb if they do. We're just shaking out anything that is rubbish and should come out. And then putting the hide back where it should be. All the bees know they're in trouble. I'm here. So we do that, take it out. You keep doing this. Now, the last thing you do, if there's any sign of a mass of dead bees, take them out. Like there's some. It's with the propolis, don't care. Oops. Just clean up your hive best you can. Yep, tastes all right. You'll know when it's bad, this has a rank smell to it. I've caught this in time, but it's going to require me to manage this by doing this. You'll never get them all out first go. But Jesus, I'm drawing quite a few out at the moment. There they go. I've almost got this down to a dull roar of flies in here now. We're going to do this again this afternoon. Now don't forget when you're blowing all this out and doing all this, put back your trap. We'll do this again at least a couple more times. I have a blow on that one over there just to see if that's okay. That seems alright. That seems alright. Notice this hive's so weak from the attack that there's hardly any bees and I don't have to worry too much about bees flying around. In fact, they're, they're not flying around. Only thing flying around is a fly. One more blow. And I have got rid of a gaggle of these flies. There's still a few in here. 
another go this afternoon will do it. But there's one more thing to do to finish this off. We'll put the lid back on now. That's not a bad effort. Whoops. Now, let me put this one on. Look at the flies in there. See them? Make sure you go through the whole hive. Look at them all. They're all running around. Squish them. Chase them. Kill them. Get rid of them. Get those numbers down to a dull roar. And we've got them down to a dull roar. So we put the hive back together again. And that's its clean out. Now we ain't finished yet. I got one more job to do. Notice it's not building any brood. I've got to build up the numbers again. There's enough brood in there to replace the dead and dying bees from the attack. I haven't got a problem with that. If that fly comes up again, I'll squish the bastard. But that's not the problem. The problem is I got no pollen. So tonight I'll be raiding one of my strong hives. Die, you mongrel. <laughs> I'll be raiding one of my strong hives with the sole purpose of getting some pollen. And I'll be putting pollen into this hive. The purpose of the pollen? Very simple. The pollen is to restock the hive and get them breeding again, get them eating, get them enjoying a meal. Bloody bastards, they're everywhere. Now, last thing. They're gonna, if I don't do something, they're going to come back in this entrance. A fine bit of stainless steel pushed into this entrance like that creates a little brick wall. They can breathe, but they can't get back in. All the rest of the flies, there's still plenty f walking around the place. Well, they'll disappear. They don't like light. But they're going to try to get back in here again. So I've got to stop that. They won't get in through the cracks. All that propolis and glue round there will certainly keep them out. The vent hole taped up so... Oh, I hope you can see it. I'm twisting my arm up. So, tonight, pollen, that will go in. This afternoon, I will do another clean out like you just saw. I've got it down to a dull roar now. That's the management.